Hi friends, today I like to discuss with you a new topic that is wildlife crimes and operations conducted by India to tackle that wildlife crimes. As all you know, wildlife crime is a major concern to our ecosystem and environment. To tackle these wildlife crimes, our government with combined international organization designed many operations that will lead to destruction of wildlife trades and transboundary wildlife crime. Wildlife crimes are considered as fourth most lucrative form of organized crime in our planet. So this is a major threat to our ecosystem and environment. Today, I like to share with you five important operations that conducted recently in, in India. First one is Operation Clean Art. This is a first pan-Indian operation to tackle the trade of mongoose hair all over India. This one is also considered as the first singular aim operation by Wildlife Crime Control Bureau to tackle the trade of mongoose hair. Mongoose is considered as a scheduled second animal according to Wildlife Protection Act 1972. It is even though classified by IUCN as least concern, it is included in zero commercial quota by the sites. So trade in any form of this animal is considered as a wildlife crime. The six species of mongoose is included in the Wildlife Protection Act second schedule and in that Indian grey mongoose is considered as most hunted and most traded variety of mongoose. The operation clean art will tackle the wildlife crime of mongoose hair trade. The second one is Operation Thunderbird. Operation Thunderbird is the code name given by the Interpol to tackle the multi-species and multinational organization crime in the wildlife trade. In this, our Wildlife Crime Control Bureau is associated with Interpol. The third one is Operation Save Kurma. This is a species specific operation designed by the Interpol and WCCB. In this, they are tackling the wildlife crimes like against olive redly turtles. Olive redly turtles is a major concern to the ecosystem, especially in the Indian Ocean. Fourth one is the Operation Oliva. You should note that this one is designed not by the Wildlife Crime Control Bureau. Operation Oliva is designed by Indian Coast Guard to intercept unlawful trolling in the Gahirmada Marine Sanctuary region. That will lead to the destruction of olive redly turtles. And finally, I like to introduce to you a fifth and recent operation conducted combinedly by Europol and Interpol with the association of 22 countries among India. This operation is named as Operation Blizzard. The name will lead to a wild guess but you should note that Operation Blizzard leave with deals with the trade of live reptiles and reptile products all over the world. It is deal by Europol and Interpol with the association of 22 countries like India, European Union, US and many other countries. And uh, as of our final point, I like to discuss with you a Indian organization that deals with the wildlife crime. That is Wildlife Crime Control Bureau. It is established by amending Wildlife Protection Act 1972. It came to operation in 
2007 and it is considered as a major Indian body that tackles wildlife crime. It has five regional offices and five major areas of concern. Thank you.